Hello everybody, welcome to the Link Up. My name is Eva Harris. Today we are, we are celebrating International Internet Day. Did you know that it was International Internet Day? Before we continue, could you please subscribe to All Day TV, hashtag the Link Up, Instagram and Twitter. Today I'm not alone in studio. I'm with my two lovely ladies. Hi, I'm Five Star. Hi, I'm Rundi Wangovese. Should we have texted this or what since it's international? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we shouldn't have emojis. Like we shouldn't have like live relationships. Yeah, we should yeah. do everything online. <laughs> Pretending to love. Yeah, I mean, what do you think about well, it being a gift or a curse? Well, it being a, an international internet day, like it being set aside a day for it. That no, I think, I think that's a really good thing. I mean, the internet has been a positive factor mostly in our lives but okay we don't dispute the fact that it can be used negatively as well but like I said it's a good thing that you know what we have this day and we celebrate this day it would just have been better if we maybe got free data on this day just to show you know maybe. that it's internet day maybe but like thinking about how much data costs in this <laughs> yeah. country that's another expensive. issue in London you told me that you live offline like Graph. How do you feel about us even celebrating Internet Day? I wouldn't say it's a good thing or a bad thing, but another thing for me is like I watch um, CSI and these NCIS um, series. So this CSI Cyber, and I've seen all these hacks and things people do on the internet. And then at times I just feel like I could just throw my phone away, but at the same time, we use phones now to get in touch with other people, to apply for jobs, to connect even to people that are overseas, all these things, but there are also some downside effects, so. I, I had an encounter my first time, I don't know if you guys know about this deep fake. It was a hashtag that I just bumped into, but how um, it's mostly like very technological, things that people, you know, visual people that, graphic designers. Yes. But this deep fake thing is basically like, my face can be on you and it looks exactly like it's supposed to be on you. What? It does not look photoshopped. Is anymore. it not like, um, have you seen the movie Face Off? Possibly. John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Yes. Uh, his other side. So you can literally, like, I, your, my face can be on you. I can become you. Yeah. And you know how there's so much you don't know what's real or what's not. Yes. Internet, everything is fast. So if someone has, if my face is on you and I'm saying stuff and I don't know. It's Whether just, it is you or it wasn't you or. I feel like it's blurred out the idea of reality to some extent. Internet. Yeah. yeah. Pros and cons. The internet was made to make our lives easier. However, it is so advanced that people can do whatever, like whether it's, you know, come up with bogus things, take my face, put it on your body, you know, things like that. But now, the part that's really scary is now that it's actually taking over our jobs in terms of, you know, if you go to a certain restaurants, you now have to order online using a certain machine. So. The internet is a good thing, but at the same time, it's it's very bad if you look at how people use it and how it's now replacing us as human beings when it comes to us doing our jobs and, you know, yeah, things like that. But also Always on the phone, we don't know how to socialize with yes. people anymore. We, we don't know how to express ourselves without using uh, emojis, emoticons, or without texting. We don't know how to use Memes. proper words. <laughs> Some people really struggle. I think I look at my picture like maybe yeah. five times and be like, should I, should I post, should I not, should I? It would it become yeah, a meme, like all thoughts. those things. So, But outside of it, like the disadvantage of it being, um, like it can be so, so bad, like it's replacing people. But what about the addiction that we possibly are experiencing? Like I will speak for myself. Mm. I think I might be addicted to the internet. So it's, it's really hard sometimes being offline. So I don't know what you guys take on... Or like if someone was to take your phone away for a week or something and you have to be offline for like a week or a month, like... The way we've been dependent on... And you feel like you're, miss, you're missing out, you know what people are posting, what they're doing, what's happening in the world. Because that's how we even get our news. Like we don't even watch traditional 
television and get news. We like we rely on what's trending. What are they talking about? Hashtag this. You like the Fergusons are trending. You're like, mm, I want to see what they're saying. Yeah, so all those things. <laughs> yeah. you, you sparked my my mind um, about something that I. It's like, um, you know how like the the everything that is on the internet right now. It's like we we we. We kind of have been programmed to see specific things over and over again until our minds think that that's what it is. It's true. And only imagine if internet had to shut down. Like actually if it had to shut down because business is, everything is happening on the internet. So imagine if the internet sharing that's also happening right now. Like what do you do for those few hours that there is no electricity, you know? It's kind of tiring, really, because hey, we really rely on this internet thing. Think when you have to apply for a job, you don't, they, they, like, they tell you, no, we don't take CVs here. Mm -hmm. They give you the email address, send your CV to this email address. We don't take anything anymore. So it's, it's difficult, man. I'm not sure if you guys like are aware of what happened um, in, in Zimbabwe, there's, there's a specific, like it was last year, but there's a specific time where they, the, the, gov um, the government, the people in leadership or whoever is responsible for the, the ministry that has to do with media, they shut down the internet. Like we, we, we couldn't communicate with people that are in Zimbabwe. If you have any business, your business cannot move or do anything because the people in Zimbabwe have been switched off, the internet is off, so you cannot do anything. And also, yeah. And also, I mean, if if um, if I would bring up that whole thing, that how sure are you that your data is safe, or if no one is seeing your information that is on the internet? It's not safe because I always realize whatever you are searching for, maybe on let me say Facebook, and then maybe you go to Google. It pops up on Google like maybe ads. Maybe let me say you were searching for France or something Amsterdam or whatever but then it will show something about Amsterdam as you browse so how do you know that you were you were writing maybe about um, Amsterdam in your Facebook or something like that so it shows that it, it's not safe it's like someone is watching you plus either way someone created a program that and has, <laughs> exactly. we had for me to put my password and to save my information is safe Someone knows the program to open. And then they tell us to create a strong password, but like, how does that even strong? How is that even strong when someone can hack? Yeah. Because they, they, they know all these things about coding. And I, I, I studied IET, so like, you know, to some extent, there's some information that just kind of like leaks to, 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 to you. Like, if you were studying something, like, there's some information that not everybody is aware of. So you would know how to like, you can even hack, hack a bank or something, I don't know. <laughs> but also this thing where you, WhatsApp is linked to your, to your Facebook, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. Instagram, like regardless yeah. of the, the person who owns all these things, one person, but like why does it even suggest that? Because you, it's not the same, yes, yeah, it's not the same app, so why does it, Maybe it makes it easier maybe to share like maybe one status in all of them, but then again, it's security issues. Yeah, and you wouldn't want everybody to, who like who's on your Facebook to see what you're putting on your WhatsApp status. Exactly. Like, because not everybody on Facebook that has your number. Yeah. <laughs> so side tracking from what you're mentioning regarding, um, you know, the da the data protection. There's this thing that you know people are getting bullied on the internet. And I've seen it a lot, like last week, the past week, I've been seeing a lot. So, like, have you, have you been bullied? Any one of you guys been bullied on the internet? I've never, like, personally been bullied. But I always see it, like, on social media. Like, hashtag whoever is trending, and then you get onto that hashtag, and you see that they're actually saying bad things about that person. I saw, um, Nsiki is, I don't know if you guys know Nsiki. She's very, yeah, she's very controversial on the internet. But um, there's a time she posted a picture of hers. And I mean, it's, it's a very personal picture, but at the same time, you know, it has to do now we're in a free society. You can, you can post whatever you want as long as you're comfortable. So she posted a picture of herself and it was a nude picture. So a bunch of people commented and I think, um, I think his name is Moshe. He mentioned something that almost sounded like it was a bully. Cause I mean, 
now you just don't read a tweet, you read the comments before you really, yeah. So it had this impression as if, you know, she was bullied and stuff. So I, I don't know, man, like, what, how, what do we see as bullying or? A lot of people who actually might have, you know, something personal towards you and don't have the guts to say what they think to you, to your face, hide behind that, which now it's, it's actually making it difficult for somebody who really has a voice for something valid in terms of maybe free education because now that person is making it difficult for somebody else to express their views because now i'm gonna be bullied oh no i'm scared what are they gonna say you know things like that so it's also blocking other people's way of asking or seeking for help yeah like you always have to think really hard before you even post your own picture like do I, should i not like will people insult me because first, true. <laughs> they'll, okay, let me say about bullying someone. They'll make everyone who go into the comment section and make fun of that person. And then let me say the person is in hospital because they overdosed on pills or whatever. And then they'll come again, the very same people that were on the comments about bullying, they'll come again and talk about um, depression is real and um, we shouldn't bully other people. Depending on their influence, depending on their influence. What like, did you do and what are you doing? Like you're two-faced. What they say and do is two different things. You exactly. Know? So yeah. decide who you are. So basically life, like Don't now it, the wind. internet feels like it's replaced reality. Yes. Like our reality is the internet. Because at the end of the day, we're just people behind screens. So I can be a bully at one point and then I can also be on the trolls, other trolls, side. Trolls, trolls, trolls. Yeah, nice. And even, 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 even show Majozi, she was actually, I don't remember what bully said. Um, You know, the, the lady who's an express on SBC3? Yeah, she actually made some silly comment about show Majozi. And that for me was like, why would you do something like this? Just because now she's, um, Shoma Jersey's upcoming and she's being recognized internationally. She's getting awards. Why would you say something like that about her? But I'm glad that she she was able to respond and, you know, tell, I, tell the lady where to get off. But I, did, I didn't like that. Like, I took it very personal. Yeah, man, like, I, I, I agree with you that, you know, people are... Because she's she's going somewhere, people have that feel. They feel the need to to attack and destroy someone. And it's also that you're behind. No one can see you on the internet. You can literally be invisible, but very anything or anyone. So like the internet basically kind of has you know replaced. Feels like it has replaced reality. So is it a gift or is it a curse? You know, are we celebrating or are we are we dreading this? I personally think as much as there are so many benefits now, but life for me was better before the internet. Mm. I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with me because of how you can do things like fast by the top of your finger, but then I feel like the internet is actually a curse. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I, mean, like, I agree, I agree with Pfizer, because also like school, people maybe get through high school because of Google. Because it's always yeah. how to, how to, yes. how sweet yes. or cut and paste, cut and paste, and then you hand it to the teacher. It's only in varsity where you suffer and there are things like plagiarism and you can't just take someone's work and paste it and then say that that's an assignment. You need to actually engage with the content. So I think that internet, yeah, some people it does make it easier, but don't even know how to read properly. They don't know how to construct a proper sentence, which is also one of the reasons because of the internet. They just go and they copy and they paste and that's it. Yeah, this could like we could discuss this the whole day, like internet, like we all we all love the internet. So I, I just feel like, you know, maybe if we would be able to also put some awareness out there that, you know, we should be able to have our own, you know, just have a sense of reality and be able to survive without the internet. It is hard, but imagine if we would have to try and do that. The internet, man, it has we 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 all we all suffering from this this um, new society that we're in. But we also thank um, people that created the internet. Yeah. So <laughs> follow us at All Day TV and the link up hashtag the link up. Till next time, have a good day.